When you're trying to lose fat or build muscle, there's one guarantee. You will face challenges, obstacles, and setbacks, both big and small. That's why the number one skill you must develop is adaptability. You may be faced with a time where a family member falls ill and you have to spend some extra time taking care of them, nursing them back to health. There may be a time when you have to work more hours at work. Both these situations may require you to reduce the number of days you're training in the gym from maybe five to six days per week down to two or three days per week. Maybe you won't be able to work out at all for three, four, five, six weeks at a time there. How are you going to adapt to these situations and still continue to make progress or at least maintain what you have. If you can't work out, you can double down on your nutrition. You can make sure that you are getting an adequate amount of sleep, doing all the other things that are in your control even if you don't have that time to work out. Do things that are going to allow you to take care of your body while you're taking care of others or taking care of doing some extra work at that time. So. Again, when life kicks you in the ass or presents these bigger challenges to you, you really need to step up to the plate rather than kind of caving into those uh, those stresses and allowing it to beat you down, allowing it to step back. You can look for the opportunities in these situations. Maybe it's an injury that you've been dealt here and you can't train a certain body part. Maybe you can't even train your entire upper body. How are you going to adapt to that situation? You can focus on doing some lower body um, specialized training there or specialized training for another body part that is in good health. It's working well while you're allowing the other uh, body part that's injured to fully recover. And again, you can double down on your nutrition. You can do other things that are going to allow you to still live your life to the fullest. Do other activities that still feel good to you while you're rehabbing the injuries. Doing the things that are necessary to not only allow that, that injured body part to recover, I mean, to, to heal up, but do some activities that are gonna help it heal up faster rather than just give it rest. Do Find out what exercises you can do to help speed up that recovery there. There's gonna be some smaller temptations that you're faced with along the way. Whether you're out with friends, you're out at a gathering, and you're planning on being great with your nutrition at this point, and you weren't expecting, oh my God, I wasn't expecting an invite right now. Uh, my best friend came from out of town. I can't turn that down here. I'm not gonna be that crazy just because I'm trying to lose some fat right now. I'm gonna go out. How are you going to adapt to that situation? Are you just going to um, have one beer with them, enjoy some great conversation, order something light on the menu? You're gonna eat a little bit more than normal, but know that you're going to, you can make up for it um, in the days and, and in the week to come here. Just enjoy, like savor that moment, live your life to the fullest in that moment, but still do things that are going to allow you to move forward and make progress with your with your diet there. And again, there's gonna be some other life stresses at home, like I say, where there could be some emotional challenges that are going on and we can tend to gravitate towards food to help us cope with dealing with this stress, dealing with um, the, the mental challenges, dealing with our emotions here. That never benefits us in any way, shape, or form. Eating food doesn't do anything to reduce our stress. It doesn't do anything to help us handle that situation. So rather than, and again, eating that food is just gonna create more problems. I should say eating in excess. Using food as a coping mess mechanism is gonna cause you to gain weight, add even more stress to your life. So this is an opportunity. Stressful situations are going on in your life right now. Um, and again, maybe you don't have as much time to work out. Uh, but make sure this is an opportunity for you to hone in your skills to to do what's in your best interest. What's going to serve you best when it comes to your nutrition? What's going to provide you with the fuel to handle the situation? What kind of coping? This is an opportunity to learn new coping skills that are actually going to serve you best. How can you handle these tough situations, whether it's at home, whether it's at the office, whatever is causing you some emotional stress at this point, how can you handle those situations? How can you adapt to this situation to be stronger, to become a better person, to be able to become the, the type of person that can handle these stresses better and not have to turn to food in order to help you cope with them and just create more problems down the road here. How can you handle these situations better? So all different kinds of stresses, whether it's in the moment when you're faced with temptations, when it comes to food, it's bigger things like adapting through the entire process. Where I'm at today is all about adapting to get to where I'm at right now. I was going through, after I lost that 50 pounds of fat, 
I went through multiple bulking phases. The first one, I gained 30 pounds. Everyone's like, dude, you got to eat big if you want to get big. Gained 30 pounds during a, a lengthy muscle building phase there. Went through, had to go through a 16 week cutting phase to drop that 30 pounds in the end. Gained a pound, maybe two pounds of muscle during that process. I'm like, that just wasn't worth it. Um, I'm going to adapt my approach so it's not so much fat that I'm gaining uh, through this process in order to gain some muscle there. So I gained 20 pounds uh, during a few more muscle building phases there. And each time, still like one pound of muscle during that time. Okay, so gaining 20 pounds still isn't going to serve me well. Let's try 10 pounds, see how I do. Again, one pound of muscle after doing a cutting phase. But the nice thing is that cutting phase only lasted a few weeks uh, in order to get back down. I could get right back to eating in a gentle calorie surplus, thriving and not having to spend so much time throughout the year dieting, feeling uh, going through some deprivation there. Um, so now I'm, I'm able to provide my body with an adequate amount of fuel more longer throughout the year in order to feel my best, perform my best. Now I keep it within like five pounds just because I know it's not really going to have whether I gain five pounds, 10 pounds, 30 pounds. Basically, the outcome is going to be the same when it comes to muscle building. But now I just keep to get to keep the fat in check and just get to be able to thrive all year long, feel my best all year long, um, consume an adequate amount of fuel that allows me to perform my best uh, all year long. Again, adapting when it comes to the gym. There's going to be days you walk into that gym. On your plan is maybe you got a heavy lifting day. It's all strength focus. On uh, you're scheduled to do some heavy sets. Do heavy sets of three to five repetitions. You had a shit sleep last night. Your lower back, hips are feeling a little bit achy. Do you still grind out that workout because that's what's on paper there, or do you call an audible? Go, you know what? It's just not in the cards for me today. Um, I'm going to reduce the weight, go lighter, do some higher repetitions today, live to fight another day. I can hit those a uh, heavy set next week. Next time this comes around, it's not like it's going to be the end of the world. If I don't do some heavy work right now, I'm going to listen to my body, not beat myself down, do what's in my body's best interest in this moment right now, adapting your training to all these different kinds of situations that may present yourself. So don't be rigid, have an open mind with everything when it comes to your nutrition, your training, your mindset approach, like really, I mean, that's a, if you're closed minded and rigid, it's just setting you up for you're, you're limiting your growth, you're limiting your growth potential. Um, and again, it can cause more harm than good when it comes to these situations, we're just beating your head against the wall, um, and really struggling in, in, in these in these challenges and obstacles rather than adapting to it, finding ways to work around it, to work with it. It's all these obstacles present themselves for a reason. It's tough to see it in that situation. When they do present themselves, it's always easier in hindsight, looking back, you know what? I grew from that experience. As much as it sucked at the time, I'm a better person for it because of how I learned and grew through that process of, of learning and adapting. And sometimes these same setbacks and challenges keep presenting themselves over and over again until we learn that lesson. So I encourage you to adapt with the situations, whether it's food temptations, whether it's life stresses, uh, whether it's just challenges in the gym or lack of sleep or lack of energy, um, all these different things can have an impact on uh, your training and your appetite, your overall mental health and your overall well-being. Again, if you are tired, you are exhausted, you are stressed, listening to your body, taking days off when necessary. So hope you enjoyed today's topic. I would love to hear your insights down in the comment section below. So please take a moment to share your thoughts, share your insights, share your feedback. If you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, please do me a favor and share it with them. Before I go, don't forget to download your free guide, Lose Fat, Get Jacked. Have yourself an amazing day. Catch you in the next video.